Okay, uh, Cameron back again for another uh, Tweak Town video. We're here at the Azus headquarters. Uh, we're in one of the demo rooms, as you can see here. Um, we have came here to look at some of the new Intel Z77 uh, motherboard features. And the first one we're looking at, um, we have an uh, Azus tablet here, Android tablet, and we have the Azus Wi-Fi Go software here. Um, so what we're going to do is show you um, some of the features of what this product can do. So I load the app here. You can see this is a Wi-Fi Go remote. It is uh, it's a free app on the Android market. Um, now this Wi-Fi Go is a feature of, I believe, almost all Azus C77 motherboards. Uh, now, to get this all set up, it's very easy. You just install the um, AI suite as this software, um, and then it's pretty much set up. There's not really much you have to do. The only thing you really have to do is make sure, as you can see here, all of the all of these systems, uh, this C77 uh, Asus um, computer here, this Android tablet, that uh, Oplay media player is all on the same Wi-Fi network. That's the only thing you have to do. There's no sort of security. You can set up a password if you need to. Um, but that's pretty much what you have to do. That's very, Azus has focused really on making this very easy and enjoyable experience from the demo we've got. Now we're going to show you. Um, so this is um, the app here. So we press enter. Now it's searching uh, for devices on the Wi-Fi network, on our local network. Okay, now you can see here we've found uh, the P8Z77 Deluxe. This is uh, this computer here. So we just push here, and then it gives us the, all of the different features that we have that we can use. So we've got DLNA Media Hub, uh, Remote Desktop, Remote Keyboard and Mouse, Smart Motion Control, File Transfer, Capture and Send. We don't have enough time here to show you all of the features. Uh, what we are going to show you first is the DL DLNA Media Hub. So you just push this. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to stream, uh, it can stream uh, video, music, and photos from this PC to the Oplay media player on this TV over here. So what we do is we just go enter. Um, and then at the top you've got music, video, or photo. So we go to video. And what we'll do, we'll play the choice of champion here. So we just push that. And you can see over on the TV, it's already starting to get that set up and streaming. And then it's playing over here. So this is basically a big remote control that interacts with the Wi-Fi Go software and the controller, the Wi-Fi controller on the Z77 motherboard. Um, so here we can also, we can adjust the volume. Um, here. Doesn't seem to want to do it right now, but um, we can pause it, as you can see, and then play again. Uh, and of course stop it. Like that. The response the response time here, the, the delay is, is not too bad. It's not it's not brilliant, but it's pretty good. It's not too bad. So that is the um, Media Hub feature. Now, the one I really like, this is a remote desktop. So what I do currently at home is I have a home theater PC, an older one, um, which of course it doesn't have the Wi-Fi Go support. So what I have to do is I have to have a, uh, a keyboard and a mouse hooked up to that HTPC. It is a wireless uh, mouse. Uh, you know, but sometimes the, 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 um, the connection, I've lost the proper word to it, like it's not really good, it's not really responsive on the PC. Um, so what I do is I, I download TV apps I want to watch and then I use my mouse or keyboard to control that. This makes it a much more easier. You use your iPad or you use a, you know, for example, an Asus tablet. Um, and then you just push enter. Now it says, do you want to enable extended desktop or not? We're not going to do that. We just want to control. We don't want an extended desktop. We're just going to control what's on this computer. So just push cancel. No, we don't want that. Um, you can see here, waiting for connection. This is the, well, that's gone. Okay, so now this is where it gets fun. Um, 
you can see here, this is kind of like uh, VNC, but it's much more modern, it's much more easy to use. You just use it on your, on your tablet device. Uh, if I put them closer, you can see this is just a, this is a mirror of um, this display on the tablet. So what I can do, as you can see here, I'm, I'm controlling this very simply like this. Um, I can go to my computer, C drive, like that. I hope you can see them sort of doing it at the same time. Response is very good. There's not much delay there at all. Just a tiny bit, you know, hardly any. It's really good actually. Um, so then I can close that. Uh, this does have an on-screen keyboard, so I can open up this text document here, and this is the on-screen keyboard. No, not that. This, oops, sorry. I can't get it properly. There it is. Okay. Alright, so what we can do is this is on-screen keyboard, of course, so you can see it's up here as well, so we can, of course, write something like Tweaktown. You can see here, um, and it's, it responds really well. So we can, of course, just go back. So this is ideal for not just um, not just um, controlling like your movies and stuff like that. Um, if you had an important email that you wanted to check, you don't want to. You, in this case, you're watching a movie or something. Uh, you had an important email coming. You don't want to walk to your PC, for example. You can just use your tablet and control that. Um, or whatever your PC is doing, you just control it from this device. So this has been our look at the Wi-Fi Go Remote and the Wi-Fi Asus Wi-Fi Go feature on the uh, uh, Z77 motherboards. Hope you enjoyed it.